and gentlemen, if you are just arriving, I'd like to say a massive welcome to you here from the London Aquatic Centre. And we are all here, of course, for the Paralympics 2012. Yes! I'm certainly feeling very excited about it, and I'm sure that you are too. So, the London 2012 motto is inspire a generation. How fantastic. I'm sure it's going to do that. But one of the ways that this is already being implemented is through the Young Presenters Program, an initiative which provides 15 young people aged 16 to 18 with the amazing opportunity to put their presenting skills into practice during the games. How fantastic is that? They've been out behind the scenes presenting live in front of audiences of thousands and having a fabulous time. And I'm joined by two of them now, the lovely Glenn and Rafe. Give them a wave, everyone. Or give them a clap, in fact. So, guys, welcome to the London Aquatic Centre. Tell us why and how you got involved with the Young Presenters Programme. Um, well, first of all, we're both quite interested in journalism presenting. And uh, local came to our schools asking for young people who were interested in those things. We were put forward and uh, we had to create videos and submit them uh, to develop our skills. And yeah, we've learned a lot and now here we are. That sounds so much more exciting than what I did at school. Amazing, great guys. And what does it feel like to be here at the Aquatic Centre in front of all the thousands of spectators? Um, it's pretty special. It's, it's hard to put into words. I mean, it's all been an amazing experience. And you've just got to grab these kind of things with two hands. And to be under the same roof as such brilliant athletes, world-class athletes, it's, it's really something special. It's very emotional, actually. More emotional than I expected. So, guys, what are you hoping to do after the Games? Well, sports journalism, essentially. <laughs> you know, I'd love to be a bit of a broadcaster, so we'll have to see what happens. But, yeah, one more, left, one more year left at college, and then we'll see. We will, indeed. Keep watching, everyone. So, any advice for other young people who want to get into presenting? Um, come back in five years' time? <laughs> uh, no, we'll see. Um, obviously, try and do as much as you can. If you've got a video camera, do that. Blog. I mean, it's the easiest thing in the world as well to report on a school sports day, so, yeah, just go for it. Brilliant, guys. So why don't you introduce and show us what you've been up to at the Aquatic Centre today? OK, guys, we went out earlier to see what people thought of this morning's session at the swimming. Here we are in the Aquatic Centre for day two of the London 2012 Paralympic Games, ready to witness some high-quality sport this afternoon. Yep, but earlier we went into the park to see what people had to say about this morning session. What's the costume all about? I'm just a big, big fan of uh, British meat, what can I say? How have you found the atmosphere inside the aquatic stadium and the whole park? It's been amazing, everyone's like really up for it, it's been really good. When you're in there and you hear the noise and you see the people, it's stunning. There's amazing the swimmers in there, they're absolutely fantastic and the atmosphere, the, the sound of people cheering like that was just phenomenal. It brought tears to my eyes actually, got a bit emotional. I'm glad to see the crowd get involved until the last person is finished, which is fantastic. I think we're very proud, we're all proud and it's brilliant for the young kids to see it as well. What was the best bit? Um, when um, Matt Soko came first. London's doing a good job so far, don't you think? So far, pretty good, yeah. Any complaints so far? Oh, oh, it's great. No, we just enjoyed it, yeah. Really loving it. It's really warm welcome, as I, as I do live in Stratford. Everyone who's been there, I'm sure they'll remember this time for the rest of their life. So we've had a great time so far here at the Aquatic Centre. Yep, in fact, there's a phenomenal amount of water in this venue, 10 million litres to be exact. And with a 17,500 capacity crowd, we're expecting a lot of noise from you guys tonight. Hi guys, we're here with Luke and Ali. Um, I've heard you've got a little bit of a rivalry, guys. Do you want to elaborate on that? Well, I'm uh, English wearing an American flag. And I'm American wearing an English flag, while the Union Jack. <laughs> but we are actually friends. <laughs> hard to believe, hard to believe. Um, is there any particular athlete that either of you is supporting today? 
I'm actually, we came to the, see the athletics this morning, uh, which was amazing. Um, we got tickets for the sw swimming this afternoon, but Ellie Simmons isn't, I don't think she's swimming this afternoon. So I'm coming back over the weekend to see Ellie Simmons. So uh, that'll be fantastic. Anybody from Team US do it, really? Or Team GB? <laughs> yeah, so London's had a pretty good summer. What have you made of it? Oh, it's fantastic. I'm a big sports fan. Uh, started off with Wimbledon, uh, then the athletics uh, a couple of weeks ago at the Olympics. And I've got about seven sessions at the Paralympics. So it's my, it's my second home. <laughs> okay, cheers, guys. Um, this is obviously day two at swimming. There were 15 gold medals decided yesterday. And tonight we have another 15 to be contested for after this morning's heats. So let's have a look at some of the highlights.